In this video, we are going to talk about resume project. We have also added optional to this. Now, if you have taken this IT support hands-on project as a new IT professional, meaning you already got a job somewhere because you had certification or you had a good luck in interview and now you wanted to learn skills, then congratulations. After finishing all these 30 tickets, you have acquired the skills of someone actually working in a technical field for six months. The reason for that is simple, as we explained in the beginning, is that the things that we have touched in all these 30 tickets is the things that you come across uh, in six uh, duration of six months. If you're working for, let's say, a small company, of course, if you're working for MSP or service provider, they will be touching a lot more than this, but those are very, very technical jobs. Now, if your goal is to actually get a job uh, and you want to perform well on the job and you also not only that, but when, when you have that mindset that what if I landed the job, then what happens next? Because it is technical jobs. Then you need to do a little more over here. And that's why you need to watch this video carefully and take the steps because you, you did all this hard work and you should ask yourself this question. Why did you take all of these technical courses for one reason because not only you want to get a job but also you want to be performing well on the job and you should have less stress on the work remember in jss we don't believe in this 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 mindset that you are gonna land a job somehow and then on the work you're gonna learn because that's how all it professionals learn no we don't do this because we know the stress that that basically uh you know comes with that type of mentality we just don't believe in that that's old school and we want to move away from that this is why technology is now available to us and back in the days we didn't have these type of resources to give people and everybody would take this type of step nobody can just create these things now we can and that is the reason why you're doing this hands-on project because you're accessing a very high intensive resources online and you're able to perform these type of skills online so it's it's now a modern world where we can claim that no we're not going to tell people that go and learn it by yourself we can teach you then learn it and then whatever we can teach then you should focus on that and move up in your career so now that the mindset is clear, let's go ahead and get to the resume project. So what I want you to do now that you finish all the 30 tickets and assuming that you have also finished our IT support courses, especially the modern IT support part one, part two, and the rest of the courses, then you should click on download resume and go ahead and click on download. Now, once you click on it, you should click on download file and this is gonna give you the Word document. If you look at look at this resume carefully this has been used by many of our members with a great success uh, when they actually go out and start applying for jobs now if you look at this resume it is tailored for the project and the courses that you have finished with us so you just like this is not a template where you just open it and you're going to be very uh, confused at this point you are going to know you covered customer service in our courses have the ticketing system in our courses office 365 you covered it active directory and through this ticketing project you have covered a lot of these things that is mentioned in a very broad way over here but you have covered more than this so there's a lot that you can go out and put in here as well, but don't make it very cluttered. So you should keep it very simple, clean, and then focus on this resume. As a member, you can use IT support trainee member as a title here. And like I said to people, that if you have that mindset that when you go to indeed.com and you start looking for help desk jobs, IT job or desktop jobs, and if it says two to three years of experience, that is a just a wish list. They use this all over and there is, uh, uh, you know, there's no uh, reason behind it when people put two to three years for entry level jobs. Because academically, we have proven that there is no academic requirement for IT professionals to get some sort of three years or four years or, or even a CompTIA A plus degree. There's no requirement. So for the past 10 years, uh, if people believed us and they're like, OK, yeah, let me just try. Let me get this resume. I learned everything. I can go to these, uh, I can apply to these jobs. And when they call you, that's where you realize that. Why do they call you first? Because of all of this information on your resume. So you have already broken that barrier between you and HR or the IT manager. 
So once they call you, they start asking you questions. Then because you took a program like this where you, you are going into these tickets and it's also preparing you for interview prep. So you have done the preparation. So when they ask you a question, you're able to give the answer. And this is where they let go of that two years, one years of experience because the things that you have learned from this project are the things that they're looking for right now. IT professionals or IT companies are looking for people who are willing to learn quickly, but also they don't want someone who just have no clue because it's a lot of work to train someone these days on these modern technologies. So they do look for someone that have done some sort of homework on uh, in a technical way. So again, you can have that mindset where you're going to say, let me just read through radical stuff and just go apply and, and then I'm going to get a job. Of course, you still may get a job, but like I said, there's a lot of challenges to that. So you, even if you landed a job, then then the stress of learning technical skill is immediately on top of your head. You have to learn these things, whether you go with JSS, whether you go with somebody else, it does not matter. You still have to learn the technical skills. So here you have the resume and the resume is directly related to what you have learned so far. So now it's clear for you or how much aggressive you're going to go after these jobs. So my first recommendation is that you're going to need to go to indeed.com and look for different type of titles and start applying to those type of position. If it says IT support, desktop support, uh, customer service support, um, uh, help desk, these are your positions. Go and apply to it. It doesn't matter if they put experience or not, you should apply to it. And then of course you have to be aggressive about applying because you need to apply to a lot of positions to get some sort of uh, calls back because a lot of people are applying to these positions even if they don't have experience like you or training like you, people are still applying to it and some people get lucky. So once you download it and open it in, inside the Word, then start changing the stuff. Like for example, name, your address, um, and then let's say you are going through all of this information, find mistakes, because of course we may have some mistakes in there, so find those mistakes, fix it, and then go over the networking piece. You did this in part one, part two course. You did this in part one, part two again, the whole Windows 10, Windows 11. Uh, stuff and if you don't if you haven't covered something in let's say in the courses even though Linux is also covered a li little bit you can remove that there's really not a uh, that like you know uh, a hard requirement that you need to put everything here then uh, if you are uh, let's say for example um, you are you're going through this summary page you should make sure that you go over this because may, they may ask you a question like, okay, what about Active Directory? Can you explain this Active Directory section here? Then from your project, you can talk about that. You know, you can talk about in my project, I did Active Directory. In my project, I did Office 365. In my project, I did Windows 11, Windows 10 installation, virtual deployments, things like that. I did documentation. So create some documentation for yourself. I did troubleshooting in my project. You did a lot of these things. And for qualification, when you finish it, you may either get the first uh, like t uh, like certificates like this if you have finished other courses or if you finish only this one project, you're going to get the certificate like that. And you can even put uh, CompTIA plus ongoing and, and other education that you're doing right now. If you have a different technical job, then you can put that. I would say put it below this, uh, you know, the present one. Because, you know, the, the technical job that you you may have is may not be very technical like this project. But if it is more pro technical than this, then you should definitely put that on top. If you have unrelated IT job, let's say customer service, which is also, a, I would say, almost related to IT as a customer service, you should put that under the, the job skills share experience. Now, if you are a coaching member that, you know, we have a different members. So coaching members can put IT support in turn here. Because if they uh, ask for reference, then for coaching members, we do give references. So coaching members are the people who go to the, the website and they especially, uh, you know, pay for the coaching services. They're not a part of our memberships. So for that, uh, you can do that for uh, any other membership. If you have any other membership or project that you did, you can put IT support trainee member, which is also pretty powerful. But remember, in this case, we do not give references. So if, if somebody say we need a reference, you need to find some sort of references. Uh, you know, maybe your friends or some other people can help you with that. So once you fix your resume and double check it, you have everything covered over here. And, you know, make sure your name, address, everything is correct. Your LinkedIn profile, just go to uh, like, you know, um, online type LinkedIn job skills share or LinkedIn for IT professional. You're going to find a bunch of things for LinkedIn as well. So make sure you correct that and put your link in here as well. 
and that's it you're done with the resume then and then what you need to do after this you can send us this resume inside your uh you know your section here um let's go back here go to let's say resume project and here select the file and then and it will only accept the docx which is your document so if there's something we need to edit we can edit if you have any questions you can put it right here and submit it and we will check your resume and respond back to you once you're done with that then go to indeed.com and then here type different type of titles like help desk desktop support it support it technician information technology um you know help desk uh technical support many many different titles you can put it but these are the one that i mentioned help desk it support desktop support technical support and then information technology as a overall big term so uh, type that over here then if you want a remote job then put a remote here if you want something near you then put that city state and a zip code and search and start applying to these jobs look at it look at the the description of that that job like open it like that uh, make sure you check the description and like I said most of the things that you cover is is good enough for someone to say that you know stuff like for example just looking at it's a minimum five years of experience is a must now some companies may put a must is this is like one company they're saying it has to be experience we're not hiring somebody without that they may be looking for somebody ex expert in this area so that's fine you still can apply to it to be honest uh, there's no harm to that but maybe they are not going to pick you because they're just clearly saying must but if they don't put anything preferred or anything like that you just need to apply okay every single job you need to apply to it forget about certification that they're asking forget about experience none of that matters but if you look at their request service now you know communication skills here you go intune active directory um like stuff like that is just basic you did you did almost 70 60 percent of that in your in your whole trainings so um of course another thing a mistake that i've seen in uh, with our members is that we'll see something very like vc technology okay what is that no you don't need to worry about that if you know even 40 percent of that that description then uh, and it's an it job then go ahead and apply because as long as they know that you know about active directory you know about intune you know about office 365 you know about uh troubleshooting then they know that you're technical enough so they can teach you whatever they're using there's absolutely no way for any training any individual to train you for almost every job out there in the world that is technical that is impossible so keep that in your mind and prepare your mind as well B be realistic when you are doing these things and the reality is that if you know the core technologies then i as an, a, a director or it manager i am i am accepting that that you are technical enough that you you will learn with me uh the the rest of the things that we use because this these are paid products this, this is not like something that's online available so i know that i'm going to teach you this stuff so don't worry about that you have to work on your mind that yes it's possible for people to get a job with no degree no certification we have done that for the past 10 years and if that is your mindset you're definitely going to get a job if your mindset is that no i need to get a comptia plus and no i need to go to a uh, college to get a degree first then you're you're stuck you're in a in a uh, in a loop where you have to finish something that is not even true right so if you want to do it go for it that's fine it's it's something that that is definitely going to put value to, uh, on your resume but don't make that a hard requirement it's never a hard requirement we have done this many many for many many years and for many many members we have success stories full online right now on our youtube we have done videos on this it's all in your mind so you need to go out there and you need to actually perform this practical action after learning so much you're ready to do this job so don't give up and start applying to these jobs aggressively and whichever job you're applying make sure you take a screenshot of that description because sometimes they may call you and they may remove their description because you applied to so many uh, positions you may forget which company is which and you may not be prepared because of that so if you have this description copied in, and you took the screenshot then when they call you and before you get in touch with them and do the interview you can go over their company you can go over the description you can pick some major things like if you think that they put in tune active directory i could really talk about these things what about office 365 what about teams you have done all these in the projects and when you talk about these things boom you have 
uh, you know, done great because you really you're really winning the mind of those people because you are connecting with them directly what they want. So that's it. Good luck. Send us this resume and go after these jobs.